If you're not using Quora in 2020 and 2021 to grow your brand as well as grow your business, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, the founder of Pearl Lemon, and here in association with SEM Rush, we're going to be talking about how you can go viral on Quora. So, over the next five to ten minutes, we're going to be talking about four key areas. The first thing we're going to talk about is why Quora for marketing at all. What is Quora and how and why is it relevant today? The second thing we're going to be talking about is how to create a killer profile on Quora. The third element is how you can, of course, go viral on the platform, so make sure you stay tuned right to the end for that. And then finally, I'm going to give you a couple of my advanced tips based upon my experiences historically of getting up to 25 million views on Quora. Whilst you're here, please do comment, like, and subscribe to the SEM Rush channel that you're watching this video on right now. So, you're going to be pretty surprised by this statistic. Quora in 2019 actually turned 10 years old. There's some of you that are just getting familiar with the platform, have not even heard of it until you watch this video, but yet Quora is officially now over a decade old. And that's just the first thing. The second thing is that Quora actually ranks for over 50 million keywords. That's correct. 50 million keywords and gets over 100 million search visits a month. Pretty impressive numbers, don't you say? The third thing is that, as according to SEM Rush, go ahead and check out the tool, Quora has 5.6 million keywords in the top 10 of Google. So it's also got huge benefit when it comes to, of course, ranking on the first page of Google. And in case you're wondering, how does Quora compare to other social media marketing platforms? Now, Quora gets 300 million search visitors per month. Yep, that 300 million search visitors per month, which is more than Pinterest and close to Twitter. So just comparing Quora to other social media platforms, you'll find that it's got a pretty significant user base. So for these reasons, you need to be using Quora right now, today. Go ahead, after you watch this video, and sign up. So what I'm going to do right now is just walk you through my profile and give you some of the insights that become relevant to what we're trying to achieve here. So the first thing is that you'll notice um, the use of an image, one that's nice, smiling and clear to see. Make sure you are, of course, using your full name and your real name and then put a whether you prefer a call to action or just a reflection of what you're working on right now, which for me would be our agency, Pearl Lemon, and then our actual content blogging tool called Word Pigeon. And then I've got something that relates to my pastime, so something that's both professional as well as personal. And then if we look into here, you'll see that above the fold, I've got a call to action. OK, so the biggest element in this is having a call to action within the profile and then actually also making your profile interesting enough so that people are engaged with what you what what it is that you have to say on the right hand side you can see we've got credentials and highlights because that you get ample opportunity to fill in all of these sections and see my history in terms of places that i've lived so do make every effort where you can to make sure that you're filling in every section that relates to your history and then we've got the knows about section which are the areas that you can choose to say that you've got expertise in and as a consequence of regularly writing upon the platform if we go ahead and take a look you'll get upvotes as you can see here questions that are being requested from you and every now and again you will make it into the Quora Digest as you can see here at some point get listed as a top writer in certain spaces and most of you writers and you can take a look in here I've just get yeah, there you go I'm currently number nine in this section here as you can see so these are some examples of things that you really should consider when you're trying to build out a profile that's fleshed out that makes sense and has every element answered in order for you to start driving traffic. So now that you've got your profile set up and ready to convert, now let's move into how to actually determine which questions to answer and how to make the answer that you write go viral. 
So guys, here are some of the top strategies that you can employ to make sure that you're writing answers that actually do go viral. Let's first of all head over to search engine optimization, okay? First of all, you could follow. As you can see, I'm already following it. That's the first thing. Second thing is you could go all the way to the actual answer section. Now these are the questions that are most popular at the moment, okay? So then as a consequence of this, you can add these all into your answer later section, as you can see. Uh, or you could, what I do is right click open them, right click open them. And what I'll try and focus upon is questions that have got at least more than three followers and questions as they are in this list that have got a, a decent degree of relevancy or recency rather. The next strategy as we continue forward is also looking at most viewed writers. Barack Berber is doing very well and we've got Jamal. So first of all, you can have a look at Barak's answers, okay, to get a sense of, well, what is Barak writing that's doing really well, and also, what is his writing style? So, a quick scroll, if we go to all-time views, okay, in combination with also doing this, you can notify, you can have a notification every time Barak writes an actual answer. It's a cool and clever strategy to make use of the fact that Barak is probably doing his own research as well. I mean, the man's got 7.2 million content views, okay? He's got 7.2 million content views, and as we discussed before, look at all of the links that he's using to actually his most popular Quora answers, as well as the one call to action that takes people off site. We go back now to here, have a look at his all-time most viewed answers, and you can get a sense of what it is that he's doing. So he's writing longer form, he's got an image in here, and you can take a look at his actual writing style and getting a sense of what it is that you could do to therefore improve your page. So guys, I hope that you've been enjoying the education so far, and I'm gonna wrap this video up with two final advanced tips to make sure that you can get the best out of writing amazing content on Quora. Let's get into it. So here are the two strategies that I'm pretty sure that most people don't know. The first thing is if you log into your Quora account, then go to the ads manager, set up the ads manager, it's completely free to set up, okay? The next thing that we're going to do is go to create campaign. You go into create campaign, you title this as just, for example, test. It doesn't really matter what you title it. Then you head into here, you type in $100, you click continue, don't worry, you're not going to be spending on any ads, you're not going to be spending on anything like that. Then you just head to questions, and then you head to bulk ad, and then you can pick a word such as SEO. You click continue, and then all of a sudden, you have got a range of actual answers with their weekly views. So this is a really cool way to figure out ultimately which are the questions that are actually driving traffic on a weekly basis based upon you know the time that Quora users are spending on page. So we'll go into here and what I'll do is I've already written an answer as you can see, but what you can do on the right hand side, my tactic is to click answer later and then this will appear in your answer later list. And as you can see, I've already got a list of 153 questions. And as you can tell by the um, amount of answers that they've received, these are very, very popular actual questions. And as you can dive into here, you can do this for pretty much any topic that you want. If we now just pick a quest topic that's very broad, such as life, you'll see that some of these actual questions are getting a quarter million views a week. So that is the first thing, the first growth hack to find out which questions are worth targeting. The second growth hack is typed in Quora into the search bar here. If we scroll down, we've got keywords by country. So depending upon the region that you're in, you could select a particular region. So for my purposes, I'm going to target, if we jump into the full report, I'm going to target ultimately keywords because now this is about the, 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 the Google game that we're going to play, if you will. So there you go. That is the second element. We've got 27 keywords there. If we put something else like fishing, if you're in the space of fishing as an example, then you'll find there's other keywords. And then if we get rid of the actual volume filter, you'll notice all of a sudden you've got 99 keywords in the top 10. So is catfishing elite, is fishing a sport? So that is considered to be ranked number four. So let's just quickly test that. Is fishing a sport? And then let's have a look and we should see, there we go, number four. So there you go, guys. That is the advanced strategy to find great questions to answer that already rank on Google. So guys, I hope that you've enjoyed all of the information that you've got today. You found out why you should even consider investing in Quora in 2020 and 2021, how to build a killer bio or profile in Quora, 
The third element is how to actually determine which questions and how to write answers that do go viral. And then the final thing was some of the advanced strategies that you can use using the Quora Ads Manager as well, of course, SEM Rush. My name is Deepak Chukla of Pearl Lemon. This is SEM Rush. Please do comment, like, and subscribe all below, and I'll catch you in the next Quora video. See you soon.